So today we're out in Hawaii. Uh, we're doing a range test on my 2025 Suron Ultra B. Um, I currently am running the Ewatt 81 volt 77 amp hour battery and the Torp controller. So the settings that I'm running, uh, we're gonna be an eco for this whole ride. And the setting that I'm at is at 12 kilowatts. I do most of my tests the same way like this. Uh, we're gonna be riding on the road and uh, going about 30 miles an hour until the battery dies. So I realize not everyone uses their bike for transportation, uh, but this is just a good way to keep it fair across um, all the different bikes I've done. So I did the Stark Varg range test and I believe we got like 89 miles. That one it by far has been my furthest I've gone on any bike. So really curious to see what this one's gonna do. Uh, we're running a 1821 setup, uh, 52 two sprocket, and I'm 220 pounds. So uh, let's go ahead and just see how much range we're gonna get. Uh, we're at 100%. Chilling. So I decided to stop over here. Uh, this is the Laie, uh, what do you call it, a Mormon temple. Pretty cool spot to stop and hang out for a second. And oh, that's crazy. So we've gone 16 and a half miles and I have 89% battery left. This might do better than the Stark. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. This is such a beautiful side of the island. That water is like right there. Let's go ahead and move on over. Look how close that is. <laughs> This is one of the um, most dangerous docks we have on the island. So many people have slipped their vehicles into this uh, area right here. <laughs> but yeah, they'll like try to load in and then go too far in and then they can't get traction and then the whole car is inside. This is a pretty cool spot. Nice lagoon. So we made it to Valley of the Temples. So we're at 37 miles and we have 59% battery left. So we're gonna go ahead and turn around from here. Uh, I just wanna make sure I make it back. That's a long way to work our way back. But this is 59% and the dash says 47%. So 12% discrepancy. Um, I mean, that sucks. I know they do sell like a little gauge. They have a color display, they didn't have a little one. But I mean, the whole reason why I went with this was so that I could keep it looking stock as far as like on the bars. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but super happy with the range of this battery. It's been really well. It's been doing really good. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll work our way back and we'll figure out what our final mileage is. So we got back uh, basically to where I started at 0% and the battery is at 18%. So we're gonna keep going 
and uh, see how much further we can push it further down the road. We've now made it into Haleiwa. So we're, whoa, <laughs> guy's not paying attention. So I'm 0.8 miles from my truck, but it's already gotten too low for me to continue on. I'm gonna just do the walk of shame and push it back basically a mile, but let's go ahead and see what we're at. So we're at 66 volts, so I really don't want to push it anymore. I mean, that's technically dead. Um, let's see how much mileage we got. So I got 77.7 .7 miles. That's amazing. So the Stark Varg, when I did a very similar test, same amount of uh, power and whatnot, I did 74.5 miles. So I got 3.2 more miles of range with this battery than I did on the Stark Varg. So the Ewatt 81 volt 77 amp hour gave my Ultra B in at least this same testing condition more range than a Stark Varg. That's amazing. All right, well, maybe someone will pull over and throw my bike in the back, but I'm gonna push it a mile that way and <laughs> get back to my truck so we went well past where we were um but yeah i'm super happy with this battery this is awesome i'm gonna get home throw it on the charger it was at 67.1 volts uh we're now fully charged uh charger just turned off and we're at five hours 22 minutes 27 seconds so basically five hours and 20 minutes to go from completely dead to completely charged all right guys thanks